Hey, we are in the fourth week of When to Walk Away, and last night's session was on building a good defense. And this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, and uh, you know, I don't think we could have predicted that last week's would have been building a good offense and a good defense, but uh, you guys watching the game? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, TB12, baby. This is going to be the last week that yes. we can use a, a football <laughs> analogy. It's true, but it's sadly, fun. it's, it's fun. like yeah. Usually, I go into depression after the Super Bowl because your team loses or I, wins. I'm not a basketball guy. Yeah. I don't. The only sport I can watch on TV is football. Period. I get you know, it. Really, baseball is way too slow on TV. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah you, can I go agree. To, you can go to the fridge ten times and not miss any plays at all. Yeah, in football. So opposite though, you can miss yeah. things. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you know, with the Super Bowl. You know, they said, defense wins championships. Have you heard people yes, say that? Absolutely. And uh, the theme, again, as Pastor Brandon said about this week, uh, about uh, developing a good defense. And we just want to talk about a few ways that, that we can do that. Um, uh, one of them being, as, as a defense, a form of defense, is understanding what toxic people are trying to do. Pastor Brandon, you know, talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, there, uh, as Gary even said, but in my own experience, they want to dominate your time. They want your attention. And they'll do whatever they can to distract you from what, what is important and what you're trying to do because they want to pull you away from yeah. that. And I've, I've experienced that many times. Yeah, so true. You know, so understand what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a, another way. It's actually simple that I actually want Pastor to talk about. is even simply ignoring them. What? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Yeah, right. I wasn't ignoring yeah. you. Okay, now I know what's going on. Now we know it's why he ignores us. We get it. We get it. Oh, Talk man. about ignoring toxic yeah. people. And, and you don't do it, you don't make it look intentional, but they want something from you. It could be time, it could be cash. It could be, they want something from you. And if you just learn to say no and set boundaries, then it begins to slow them down in the very least, yeah. you know. So true. Um, yeah, you, you, you just, I don't know another word for it, but you have to ignore them. I would say that, that mm -hmm. uh, something that was mentioned last night too is that normal people, no means no. But a toxic yeah. person, you know, we're talking about good defense, they're also on the offense. And if your no was, was one thing to, to thwart their, their uh, yeah. trying to get into your situation, they're going to find another way around it, yeah. and uh, I've, I've certainly experienced that as well. Yeah. And you know, and, and don't worry about offending them because you're never going to get their approval. Yeah. That's why they're toxic to begin with. They're going to keep coming and coming and coming. And you know, you may even feel like you're being overly rude. A normal person, you wouldn't have to do that with. That's right. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. but with a toxic person, they're never going to feel good about you. They're not concerned about you. Yeah. That's true. That's that's key. The, the best the best defense is. Understanding toxic people, they're trying to control you, uh, learning to ignore them. And the last one we're gonna talk about is being productive, being focused as a form of defense. And know, Pastor, you have experience with that. You know, talk to us a little bit about well, that. Well, you know, last night's study, uh, he talked about Nehemiah. Mm -hmm. And Nehemiah had a job to do, that was to build the walls around Jerusalem. And, and, and in the very beginning of that, uh, Sambalat, who's his opposition begins trying to intimidate and threaten and even insult. And so Nehemiah just keeps going on. And uh, you guys know the story. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody wants to refresh us on that for maybe for those who weren't there. Um, sure, I mean. You know, what was his plan? It wasn't just stacking stones upon stones, but. Yeah, he's, he's having to build this wall. And uh, in building that wall, he's, uh, when he receives these threats, his workers, the laborers, are having to do a couple different things. You know, they're having to um, um, still be productive, but yet keep a, a sword on their side or have a certain people, amount of people, uh, you know, uh, actually stand guard. But mm -hmm. in order to be productive, they had to take some steps. They had mm -hmm. to do some things in order to make that happen. But Nehemiah was so focused. One of the things was they built that wall in 52 days what somebody else couldn't do in the last 50 years, yeah. but because yeah. he chose to ignore mm -hmm. the outside voices and, and those toxic people, he was able to accomplish yeah. what God gave him to do. And so, and so some, of, some of this that we looked at last night is a repeat mm -hmm. or restating of what sure. we learned the week before about having a good offense. If you're really busy and someone's trying to pull you away from your, your primary mission, 
If you're really busy, truly committed to that, <clears throat> they're not going to be successful. Yeah. And so that's why we need to be productive. I mean, yeah, 52 days instead of 50 years, you know. Um, and then also I want to add this before we, you know, leave this week's <clears throat> Wednesday night recap is you may become fairly proficient. It can be a real struggle. You might become fairly proficient at <clears throat> ignoring the toxic person, creating boundaries, but inside you might be churned up still. You know what I mean? Inside. And they can't see that and you don't want them to see that. And I just want to encourage you that you need to, what you need to do is the very first thing Nehemiah did when Sanballat sent his first threat. He led the people to pray. Yeah. And so we've got to have the peace of God inside of us, even when there's something happening externally, or we're trying to limit what happens externally. Mm -hmm. um, you really need to go to God in prayer every single moment, as much as you need it. When you need peace, go to Him. Mm -hmm. uh, he is the God of peace. Yeah. You know, the Word tells us that. So that's, that's the key. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Not just settling the issues on the outside, but having inner peace as you strive to do so. Anyways, we got two more weeks of when to walk away, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed these times together, and hope you'll take a look next week. Have a great week.